Hi, I'm Dr. Nick Buecher, here at North Seattle Community College to talk to you about how to use a barometer. A barometer is a device that measures air pressure. It's composed of a reservoir of mercury located at the base, as well as a long tube that's been evacuated. The air pressure in the room drives the mercury up the tube. We can measure the pressure of the air in the room by looking at the height of this column of mercury. So the reason that we want to do this is the pressure of the air actually varies with both elevation and weather conditions. So we can't just assume it's going to be exactly one atmosphere, because generally it's not. The pressure units of millimeters of mercury, or TOR, are very literal, literal unit. They measure the height of this column of mercury in millimeters. In order to measure the height of mercury, we'll be using the vernier right here. We raise and lower the vernier by turning this brass knob. And it might be a little bit hard to see, so let's zoom in. Mercury forms a reverse meniscus. Rather than arcing downwards like water does, mercury arcs upwards. And we want the very top of this meniscus to line up with the very bottom of the vernier. The markings on the side right here indicate the height of the mercury. This one indicates that we are around 755 millimeters of mercury. In order to achieve that estimated digit, we're going to use the scale on the vernier. We want to find the marking on the vernier that lines up perfectly with the scale on the side of the barometer right here. Now if we look, it looks like the three marking lines up with the scale on the barometer perfectly, indicating that our estimated digit is a three. So this barometer is currently registering 755.3 millimeters of mercury. This is slightly too high, so let's talk about the temperature adjustment that we'll have to do. The initial reading you obtain from the barometer will actually be slightly too high due to the thermal expansion of the mercury. The barometer is right on at zero degrees C, but any temperature above zero degrees C, again, is going to read slightly too high, and we're going to have to correct for that. We do this using the thermometer on the front right here. In the room right now, it's currently 21 degrees, so what we want to use is this table of correction values here. The far left column indicates the temperature, so we want to go down the column to 21 degrees. We're then going to want to go across the row until we reach the value for 760 millimeters of mercury, because that's the value closest to the initial value we measured. And what we see here from our table is a value of 2.6. What that means is the initial measurement we took off the barometer is actually 2.6 millimeters too high due to the thermal expansion of that mercury. In order to get the correct value, you have to take the initial value, subtract 2.6 millimeters from it, and that'll be the correct pressure in the room. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. As always, if you encounter difficulties, please ask your instructor for help. This is Dr. Nick, signing off.